Hello and welcome to the Watch Kaki channel where we bring you all the good and honest watch reviews. If you haven't done so, please take the time to click the like button, click the subscribe button because I need all the support I can get from you. Thank you very much. In today's video, we are going to do a full review of the San Martin SN34 and this is the watch that I unboxed at the beginning of this year. I think I received the watch about three weeks back and this is a Quartz Pilot. Uh, it is one of their latest release. So here's a big disclaimer as well as some uh, background information on this watch here. I initially received this watch here from Glenn of San Martin as a loan set. So uh, this was meant to be a loan set for review. So upon reviewing, I had to return the watch. But the thing is, I fell in love with the watch and right after the unboxing video, which I did about three weeks back, I sent Glenn a message and I asked him, you know, how much I would need to pay him. So instead of returning him the watch, I said, Glenn, I love it so much. Let me just buy it from you. So I'm going to pay you money. And guess what he said? He said, look, Andy, you don't have to pay me. Just keep it. Uh, take it as a gift from St. Martin. So uh, of course, I said, thank you very much. This watch review is still going to be 100% honest. So let's come back and talk about the watch here. So the SM34, uh, I wouldn't call this one a homage because it doesn't explicitly copy any a famous watch, branded watch. You know, uh, St. Martin, uh, in the past two years, they've been branded as a homage watch company. So they've been building things like 63 mask, homage, Rolex homage, Tudor homage and all that. But I don't see this one as an outright copy or homage. But I must admit that this series of vintage kind of pilot, I think these watches are inspired by the Dirty Dozen film, the old movie. And I think watch fans out there, they're very quick to rename or nickname the series of vintage pilots as the Dirty Dozen style of pilots. So during the launch of this watch, the SN034, there was only the leather strap version. So I had to wait for a few weeks uh, for them to roll out the bracelet version. And I must say, this is well worth the wait because you know, this bracelet here really, really elevates the watch to the to a higher level. I just, you know, think this watch is fantastic. So right after the unboxing, you know, I told myself, uh, I don't think I want to return this one. I just, you know, part with my hard earned money and I think I'll just keep it in my collection. So this watch here is also powered by Quartz Movement. It is a Ronda Swiss Movement, Ronda 6004D. So this version here does have a ghost state complication, but to me, that's not an issue because I very much prefer the no date cleaner dial look here. At the time of this review, the San Martin SN34 retails at US dollars 138. So you can buy this one off sanmartinwatches.com. So I've just zoomed in the lens a little bit as I talk to you about the specs of this watch here. The SN34 has a case size of 37 millimeters. So I'm just very happy to see many new releases you know, coming in the sub 40 millimeters category. I think uh, it is a sure sign that most brands they're moving towards this classic look all right so large watches oversized xl watches i think you know they're dead uh, for the next decade or so and this watch also has a thickness of 10 millimeters 10 flat so from the base of the very plain screw down case back to the top of the flat sapphire crystal it is right on 10 millimeters lug size here is 20 millimeters so this one here really makes uh, the watch one of those strap monsters i think this watch here would look good on leather strap NATO, probably not so good on a rubber because of the vintage uh, vibes you're getting. But as it is, it looks best on the bracelet. Now this being a smaller watch, the lug to lug here is also very manageable. It comes in at 45.5 millimeters, so no issues at all, even for those with smaller wrists. Crystal size here is about 30.7 millimeters, so I would say that's a pretty good dial to case ratio. And finally, we've got a Really nice crown here, nicely signed with the new hexagonal San Martin logo and this one here measures at 6.5 millimeters. Yet more specs not found on San Martin's website. So this watch here I measured a weight on my uh, digital scale. It comes in at 111 grams. The watch here has been sized. So this being a screw down crown, this watch here does have a pretty high uh, water resistance. The WR for this watch is 200 meters and I think, 
you know, that's plenty for a pilot watch and you know, I'm pretty impressed by the specs so far. Uh, this one here has got a Ronda quartz movement, Swiss movement, really good water resistance, really nice bracelet, full solid bracelet, full solid links and links and the clasp here is also uh, very nicely done, fully milled. So for US dollars 138, you are really getting uh, a pretty good specs, all right? very well spec out watch. So moving on here, I'm gonna share with you what I feel about the case design and build quality on the SM34. So the first thing that I'm gonna tell you is I love, I love the all brush finish here. Okay, so the entire watch here is done in a brush finish. All right, the case, the bezel, case back, bracelet, all right, so all sides of the bracelet, the side, the top, insides, everything is done in the brush finish and the brushing here is also very nice, all right, doesn't feel cheap at all, all right, really nice longitudinal brushing here and the rest of the top of the case here, the bezel, the lux, this one here is done in radial brushing and as for the bracelet here, the brushing is also nicely done, all right, so none of it here feels cheap or look cheap all right so even for the clasp here okay so just take a look at the stamping here the logo stamping uh, it's even got really nice beveling here on the buckle on the clasp and just to you know give in more praise to the bracelet here so it tapers from 20 millimeters down to 16 okay and i think this is the magic taper for all bracelets all right so uh, micro brands or even big brands out there if you're thinking of you know doing bracelets please all right 20 to 16 is a really good taper i'm going to show you what i'm talking about so let me just pop in a really quick wrist shot here all right so just take a look here it really flows nicely from 20 all the way down to 16 so giving it a really nice classic elegant look to it and now i'm going to share with you my thoughts on the dial design of the sn34 so this one here has got a really nice textured dial you know as i turn the watch at various angles you can see how nicely textured this dial here is it has a really nice you know semi matte finish to it and i really feel that this is one of the highlights uh, of this dial here all right so it's black all right but you know it's not boring all right so most black dial watches they, they seem very boring but this one here because of the texturing you know almost look like a sandy uh, stone kind of finish so this one here being a vintage style kind of a pilot watch i think they've also you know added some modernness to it because the fonts here they look you know more modern than the script font of the St. Martin logo and I really like it. I find the size and proportion of the numerals to be very good, very nice. And I think the small seconds here at six o'clock, it really you know, makes the watch look very classy. All right, so I'm not so excited about the half-eaten six o'clock marker here, but overall, you know, I'm just a big fan of small seconds and this watch here really takes uh, all the marks for design. All right, it looks vintage. At the same time, it's got a touch of modernness to it. All right, so things like the little loom plots and that chapter ring here at the minute mark, this railway track kind of a minute marker here. I think you know overall everything just blends in very well, well proportioned. You know, just top job by Saint Martin Design here. And to sum up this segment on the dial design here, I must also add that I'm a big fan of this cathedral hands so uh, we're sick and tired of mercedes hands uh, i don't know diverse style hands and all that so again i think it's a very good choice by st martin to use uh, this type of design but right, the sn34 does have loom hands and markers so let me just switch off the lights now and let's check out the loom all right and this is how the loom works in you know dark lighting situation so i think you know as you can see very pretty looking they've got a bi-colored loom and the numerals here are blue and the markers here along with the hands they are green so i really don't know what grid or which type of loom they are but 
it just looks very pretty here. So here's a wrist shot of the San Martin Vintage Pilot on my 17cm wrist. So have a look at this. It really fits very, very well. So even if you have a smaller wrist of say 6.5 inch or you know just over 6 inch, I think it's not a problem at all. All right, so minimal luck gap. All right, I would say no luck gap at all. And you know, there's a really nice curve at the mid case here and overall you know the fit you know the wearability of this watch is really no issues at all and let's also do a really quick size comparison between the san martin and the zin 556 so again you know these two watches <laughs> i will rate them in the same category one is a vintage style pilot uh, one is a modern looking pilot right a very technical looking one here the zin 556 and you know they also share a lot of similarities full brush finish all right granted the zin here has a nicer satin finish all right a no nonsense clean looking dial here so all in all i would say this watch here cracking value for us dollars 138 dollars i think you probably can't ask for more all right it's got a swiss movement all right so i know it's quartz movement it is not automatic seven day power reserve or anything like that but hey all right sometimes uh, grab and go watches like these they are the best all right so you put it in your watch case for a few weeks pick it up and it's only like five seconds off i think you know no problem at all this one here the right size 37 millimeters only 10 thick and really nice looking bracelet here uh, from afar okay if you don't look at the logo all right you know you mistake this one to be a very uh, you know expensive watch all right it doesn't feel like it is only 138 dollars so having told you all the plus points of this watch here right, i have to tell you that this watch here is uh, not perfect all right no watch is perfect and uh, it's a shame that i found out uh, about this one after i removed all the protective film all right so i told glenn that i'll buy this watch and he said you know he'll gift it to me so I happily removed uh, the protective layers for siding the bracelet. Then I realized that, you know, these parts here, they are very sharp. Okay, so the insides of the bracelet, the insides of the lugs here, the watch case, and in some areas of the case back here, they feel very sharp. Okay, I wouldn't say it's rough. All right, so, you know, rough to me feels like it is badly finished or unfinished. Uh, but this is different all right so everything is finished very nicely the brushing is good and all that but it seems like there has been no attention given uh, to the comfort i think you know it did cause me a bit of discomfort when i you know put on or take off the watch all right so these areas you know they come into contact with your wrist and your skin and all that so you know i've given my feedback to glenn i think you know these guys they should pay some attention uh, perhaps a chamfer or you know a once over you know with some kind of a sand belt or something i don't know all right so as it is you know it is still okay all right my buddy bus he's got one of the same watch as well and i think he's pretty okay with it but for me i think you know they really got to you know deal with these parts here and there's some minor complaints about the clasp here so the clasp here is a smaller version and it only has two micro adjust dots here so I think many uh, watch fans out there, they've given their commands, uh, their feedback to San Martin. But for me, this is not an issue because I'm pretty lucky. I managed to get a pretty good fit. All right, I'm, I'm lucky in this aspect. So uh, I don't need any half links or any more micro adjusts. So I'm pretty happy with the fit uh, and bracelet sizing I'm getting from this watch. So overall, it's a winner for me. I just wish that uh, some more attention has been paid to the insides of the links and you know these parts of the inner locks in the watch case here so there you have it that was my full review of the san martin sn034 quartz vintage pilot all right i'm telling you this is a really great buy for the money all right us dollars 138 you're getting a heck lot of a watch all right you're getting a ronda quartz movement swiss movement here really solid build quality and all that just a little bit of niggle here and there and i think it's going to be a perfect watch all right so if you like this video if you like george here please come back here every week subscribe to my channel this is the watch Taki. bye bye for now